Many thanks to a regular viewer for sending in a question. Lambster66 asked, Can I remove my projector from my headlight without having to take the front cover off? All he wants to do is change the projector. He's not worried about doing any painting or uh, other mods. The short answer is, yes you can. Stay tuned and let me show you how. Remove your headlight from the car. Remove your bulb from the back of the projector. And if it's a Xenon headlight you're working on, remove the ballast. Once you've taken those three screws out, it just pulls off. Now we're looking to get in and undo the nuts that hold the projector to the studs. So with the ordinary hacksaw with a fresh sharp blade, position your hacksaw blade against the main beam aperture. Start at a corner there. Hold your headlight steady. If you've got something like a workmate and you can strap it down, that would make, would make it easier. As you manipulate your saw around, keep an eye on the blade going through there. Make sure you don't cut through any wires or allow the blade to gouge into your uh, projector. Now, once you reach a certain point here with the blade like this, you'll come up against one of the uh, mounting legs. In which case, just change the position of your saw. You don't want to cut into the beam adjusting mechanism either. Switch to a junior hacksaw blade. Put a bit of tape round the end. Again, a fresh blade is best. Lift up at that end, get your junior hacksaw blade in. All we want to do now is start off a cut that's heading in that direction down this channel, like so. We can now get the junior hacksaw in into that corner. We're going to cut along that curve and then down there to meet that cut. You might find it easier to do it with a full size hacksaw blade. But once you get down to this point, hey presto, last few cuts and off comes your hatch. At this stage, don't go blowing the plastic swarf around. Now, with your deep 7mm socket on an extension, you can get in to undo those nuts that are holding the projector in. If you can reach the nuts with your fingers, great. Otherwise, use a pair of fine nose pliers. Lift the projector off its studs, and away it comes. Don't forget you need to disconnect the main beam connector. There's your projector. Hopefully, if all went well, you should find that the plastic swarf should all be congregated around the back here and very little should have got inside the reflector and the lens. So now take this into the house and hoover out the swarf using your vacuum cleaner and its fine nozzle. Put your projector back in the opposite way to where you got it out. Don't forget to plug your high beam harness into the uh, beam control mechanism. Make sure that you've got your uh, HID lead outside so, and put your projector back the opposite way to the way you got it out. Tighten down the nuts on the studs. Just nip them up, don't go mad. Clean the piece you cut off. Make sure there's no plastic swarf on it. If you've got HIDs, don't forget to put the HID lead through the hole. And I suggest just simply gluing it in. You can use epoxy, super glue. I'm actually using some of this new UV setting glue that uh, seems to have come onto the market quite recently. I'll put a link to it in the uh, description. It's quite good because it's got a very fine nozzle. If you do that in three or four places around the uh, periphery of the cut to get the piece held in. And once you've done that, you can uh, finish off the uh, rest of it. And hey presto, you'd never know we'd been. Don't forget to put your ballast back if these are HIDs. If you got value from this video, give it a like down by the title, please. And I shall see you next time.